how's it going, sexy felines? My name is CJ or MCIK. Welcome back to another Warframe video. We are back here. The hype is real, as you guys can tell from my my very enthusiastic voice. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. We are here once again with another prime. A lot of you guys have been waiting for it. I have been waiting for this for such a long time, and it's finally here. And if you got, of course, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. It is, of course, Banshee Prime. This has been a long awaited, and it's finally here now. And it just dropped about 10 minutes ago. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about the drop locations where you're gonna be able to get all the parts for Banshee Prime, the Euphona Prime, and also the Helios Prime. The Euphona Prime is the shotgun secondary that came along with Banshee Prime, and of course, Helios Prime is just the Sentinel version only the primed version of the Helios. So yeah guys, today's gonna be a very short video. I'm gonna show you guys and tell you guys, you know, what relics drop, which parts and blueprints, and also kind of roughly where to get the relics so you can farm these said parts or blueprints. So I'll, I'll give you guys some rough locations where you guys can still go start farming for these relics. Things that really work well for me, that way you guys can get started in farming Vanshee Prime, the Euphona Prime, and the Helios Prime. And also, by the way, if these things change, I'll make sure I leave it in the description below. All of the updated things, and I'll make sure it says up to date with all the locations and all of the, you know, relics co-assigning with whichever part they have. I'll make sure I keep that up to date in the description. So if this is a little bit outdated, check the description. I'll have that up to date. But anyway, let's get right into it. So first off, of course, Banshee Prime. Everyone wants this one, so I'll start with this one first. So Banshee Prime's um, increases, I think she has a little bit more armor, which is not bad. I mean, it's not much of an increase, and she does have a qu a quite a bit more power as well. So having a larger energy pool will be really helpful for her. And I believe she also has a sprint uh, increase as well, sprint speed, so she can actually run faster now, so that's pretty cool. It might help out in survivability a little bit, so that's great. She also gets a dash polarity as well, along with the other polarities she uh, originally had. All right, so let's talk about the relics that you can get Banshee Prime, the blueprint, the neuro optics, the chassis, and the systems. So we'll start with the blueprint. So the blueprint can be obtained on a Neo T1, which is an un uncommon relic. So you can find these basically on spy missions. I would roughly, I would go on maybe Kappa on Sedna. I've gotten a couple of these from Kappa on Sedna. Run a couple spy missions on that, and you should be able to get a Neo T1. That will give you the blueprint. I already have about five of these already. The neuro optics are from a Meso S4, which is a very common one. So I mean, you can go on a lower level. Um, spy mission, maybe one on Saturn, and then then you might be able to get this one. I would roughly, yeah, I would go on Saturn, maybe Saturn or 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 Europa. One of those two do a spy mission on those, and you might be able to get this one. It's a common one. It's not that rare. It's just a common one. The chassis is going to be obtained on a Neo B1, which is a rare and uh, a little bit harder to get. And also the system is going to be on an Axi B1, which is also rare. If you want a good place to start farming these two, I would recommend you guys go on the Dark Sector Excavation um, on Pluto. I've gotten a handful of these rare ones on, on that mission. Um, I think I'm going to show you some footage right now. I've just, I went on a, a mission. I did, I think my score was about 1,900. I went that far and I got a handful of relics that were very rare as well. So if you want a good place to start farming some rare relics, then I would recommend you guys go on to the excavation, the dark sector excavation on Pluto. So that's a good place to start farming that. But yeah, those are all the places where you can get all of the relics for the Banshee Prime parts and the blueprints. So the Euphona Prime, this is going to be, like I said, the pistol shotgun secondary, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I am excited to get my hands on this thing. This thing looks like a fucking crit beast. It has a critical chance at base of 30%, which is really high, and a crit multiplier of 2.5. Status chance is really low at 2%, but um, all in all, this is going to be an amazing weapon. Anyway, so the, the relics that will be dropping these parts, the first one is going to be the blueprint, which is going to be from an Axie B1, which is a common, which is kind of surprising. So it is a common one, so you don't have to go for such high-level missions. You can do more easier, maybe spies, maybe some survivals on maybe levels 20 to 30 missions or 20s to 25s, whatever you want to do. Nothing too high in the, in the late game. Um, but yeah, the XCB1 is where you get the blueprint. The barrel can be obtained with a Miso N3, which is not uncommon. So um, it is not uncommon, so that means maybe I'd say do harder spies. Maybe if you want to do a survival, a harder one, then do that. If you guys want to, by the way, I will leave a link to a the wiki where it shows you where to get each individual relic for each individual mission. You can go on those missions and it'll tell you where to get each relic. I'll leave a link down in the description for that if you want to check that out. That'll help with this a lot. But yeah, Miso N3 is where you're going to be able to get the uh, prime barrel for the Euphona. Last but not least, for the receiver, you can get it on the Axie E2, which is going to be a rare. So once again, I recommend you guys do some excavation, dark sector, you know, pretty high level. Pluto or Sedna, whatever you want to do. And yeah, that's how you might be able to get that. I've gotten one of those before already from that method alone. So if you want to do that, go for it. That is it for the Euphona. They don't actually have it. It doesn't have a stock. 
There is no stock, just the receiver, the barrel, and the, blu the blueprint, so that's it. So let's go on to the last one, which is the Helios Prime. So the Helios Prime, of course, is going to have four separate parts, the blueprint, the cerebrum, the carapace, and the systems. So let's go over the, the blueprint first. So the blueprint can be obtained on a lith N2, which is an uncommon uh, relic, which is really easy to get your hands on. I have a handful of these already. I mean, I you could always just do a defense on a lower end mission, you know, lower levels. Uh, I That's what I usually do. I get a handful of lith relics whenever I go for one of these. So just do some defense, lower levels, and you should be able to get this. It is an N2, lith N2, that is for the blueprint for Helios Prime. For the Cerebrum, this is going to be on an Axie H1 which is a rare so once again if you want to get one of the rare ones go on a higher level mission like Pluto or Sedna do a survival or a dark sector survival or ex excavation and you should be able to get some of these rare ones I've gotten a handful of these already from just simply doing that mission alone and the carapace is going to be from a Neo N5 which is going to be a common relic so once again if it's common you can go on some lower level missions maybe uh, I don't know a survival uh, maybe on Saturn you should be able to get this just fine Neo N5 like I said I will leave a link in the description below for a place where you can figure out exactly where and what missions to go on to get the relic that you want to go out to find. But last but not least, we have the Helios Prime Systems, which is going to be on a Lith V3, which is not uncommon. So once again, just do some low, low-ish level mission, survival, extra, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, excavation. You should be able to get a handful of these, and uh, yeah, shouldn't have any problem with that. Anyway, that is about it. If you want some good methods to farm, like I said before, do some excavations. If you're for for rare relics, then go on excavations on Pluto. That's where I get all my really, you know, rare relics. And if you want another good place to farm, by the way, you don't actually have to farm. If you have good syndicate standing, if you have a good bit of uh, standings left with your syndicates, you can buy a bunch of relic packs and start, you know, getting a bunch of relics. Cause I actually got a handful of rare relics just from this alone. So yeah, buy some relics. Buy some relic packs from your syndicates. That will help out a lot. Trust me. That is really handy. Anyway, yeah, guys. I will be reviewing these really soon. As soon as I get my hands on these, which will be maybe in a week or so. I don't feel like buying the Prime Access. I just don't. I don't have the money right now. I, I would, but I just can't. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Like I said, if you didn't understand all of this, I went really fast. I'll leave it down in the description below all of the drop locations for all of the different, you know, items. Banshee Prime, Euphona Prime, and the Helios Prime. So that way, it's a little bit easier to understand for you guys. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you guys for tomorrow's video. Have an awesome day. Stay sexy, stay cool, and happy farming.